Hey guys, Stefan Fisch here from All of Road. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's video has a very different topic. It hasn't really to do with off road, but more to do with creating actually the content for you. When I started nine years ago, I realized that I wanted to have a source of copyright free music I could use in my videos. At the time, there wasn't too much around, but I found one provider which uh, then was called audio blogs and video blogs which offered a 99 US dollar per year subscription to use their copyright free music on any of my projects without any copyright claims from YouTube. A few years ago they changed their name from audio and video blogs to story blogs but it's still the same company and has the same website backend and so on. Let me show you a quick snippet how they advertise their service. Clearly you use stock media, but do you know what you're actually buying when you hit the download button? It's not just a media file. It's a file and the permission to use that content in your project. Initially it worked quite well, but then I started receiving frequent copyright claims for the music used and where I had a license for. I had a look through the copyright claims I received alone over the past two years and that are over 200. I deleted the previous years and I reckon it would have been a thousand plus. When you receive a copyright claim, YouTube pretty much puts a ban on your video. It will still show, but it disables any monetization of that video. It's then up to you, the content creator, to deal with the issue and to demonstrate that you actually have a license for that content. The process of disputing the claims over and over again for the same files becomes quite annoying as I need full internet access and a computer as it can only be done through the website. I can tell you from my own experience that unlike what Storyblocks tells you, it's not hassle-free to remove the copyright claims. I would have no problem with it if it was a once-off process. I receive a copyright claim for a certain piece of music, I clear it once and that's it. And even now, many years later, I still receive monthly and sometimes weekly copyright claims for older videos I use their music in. For instance, this one I received only three days ago for a video I posted in 2016. Given that I paid for a subscription at the time to precisely prevent this issue, it has become a significant annoyance for me as the repeated disputes for literally hundreds of times now cost me time and headache. I contacted Storyblocks on numerous occasions and they responded that they could not intervene or whitelist my channel anymore as I no longer have a subscription. I guess you know why I don't have a subscription any longer. They referred me to their license agreement and said that I need to file the dispute with YouTube myself, which is what I have been doing for years. I also contacted one of the claimants and YouTube, but they all passed the buck to each other. AdRev says it's YouTube's automatic system reflagging the content and YouTube says there is nothing they can do about it. It's a third party who is filing the complaints. So the result for me is having to constantly file copyright disputes for music I have a license for and which has already been flagged and cleared hundreds of times. Given that this is going on for years, I thought it was time to share my experience and maybe help other people to not run into the same issues. Guys, I'm keen to hear your experience with providers like Storyblocks, Epidemic or Audioblocks. Did you have a similar experience? Leave me your comment in the comment section below. While Storyblocks proved to be an absolute pain and still is a pain, the good news is there are other providers around who actually provide copyright free music without any of the licensing issues. Initially I used Epidemic Sound for a few years and it's not a bad company. I never had a copyright complaint for instance as long as I had a valid subscription. But the major downside for Epidemic Sound in my book is that once you stop paying the monthly subscription, which I did I think after two years or so, you cannot use any of the downloaded musics in further videos. That caused to be quite a major hassle for me because I used some of their music in my trailer and all of a sudden when the subscription was cancelled, my trailer got flagged 
for copyright violations. Then I started looking around for different providers and found Artlist.io, which I'm now subscribed to for, I think, at least two years, if not three years. Artlist has a brilliant audio library. And on top of that, any file you download while you have a subscription, you can use indefinitely. So even if I decide to cancel my subscription at some stage, all the files I still have on my computer I can use. And for example, now I used an Artlist IO file in my trailers that will never expire. And that is really why I highly recommend and continue using Artlist IO. However, I want to make very clear Artlist has nothing to do with this video. They have not sponsored it. I pay for my subscription. However, every subscriber does have a referral link. And if you want to help me out and you're interested in Artlist, use my referral link to sign up. And that gives me a month of free music per subscriber. And it would really help my channel. I know this was a little bit different video than my usual videos, but thanks a lot for watching. And uh, if you like my content, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And if you can, maybe even head over to Patreon or buy me a coffee and support me with the channel with the equivalent of a cup of coffee or two per month. Thank you very much and I hope to see you along the tracks.